Hi, I'm Ben Lynch. I'm a senior scientific computing consultant at the Minnesota Supercomputing Institute. In this video, I'll give a brief overview of the scientific computing resources at the University of Minnesota, and I'll highlight a few places where University of Minnesota researchers can take advantage of national computing centers. Specifically, I'll be introducing some of the complementary resources available through the EXCEED program. First, let's review what we have within the university. A variety of computing resources are available from both MSI and OIT. OIT provides desktop support as well as enterprise virtual machines. OIT manages a number of site-wide software licenses that are used for teaching as well as research. Finally, OIT manages enterprise storage needs for the university. This includes active storage and backup for desktops and servers used for teaching and business needs. On the research computing side, MSI provides the university researchers with high-performance computing resources. Over 20,000 CPU cores are available for batch scheduled jobs, where researchers have access to hundreds of software applications. MSI offers user support and a limited amount of consulting to help researchers get going on MSI platforms, as well as dedicated consulting for a fee. MSI has portals such as Galaxy Genomics that allow users to manage workflows that are submitting jobs to MSI compute clusters. MSI also engages in dedicated custom portal and database development for a fee. MSI also has interactive compute environments available through X-Windows, Jupyter, and other interfaces. Finally, MSI provides data storage for active computation, as well as long-term storage. Some amount is available for free, and additional storage can be purchased for a fee. Though there are many resources right here at the university, there are several cases where researchers may take advantage of Exceed. Here are a few examples. MSI has nodes with up to one terabyte of memory among its batch scheduled resources. For applications that require a large pool of shared memory, one terabyte is not always enough. For these jobs, we might want to look toward Pittsburgh Supercomputing Center, where the Bridges Large memory resource has nodes with up to 12 terabytes of memory. Next up is the Texas Advanced Computing Center, or TAC, home of the Stampede 2 system. Stampede 2 is very similar to high-performance systems at MSI. An important difference is that, like everything in Texas, it's big. If you have 10,000 core jobs that you struggle to get through the queue at MSI, you will likely have a better turnaround time on Stampede 2. The final resource I'm going to mention in this video is Jetstream. Jetstream is a geographically distributed cloud resource with hardware at Tech and Indiana University. Jetstream allows researchers with an allocation to create and modify their own virtual machines. This is a terrific resource for researchers that need root level permissions to quickly prototype new software in a cloud environment. Researchers can choose to spin up VMs with standard Ubuntu or CentOS distributions, as well as images that have R or MATLAB pre-installed. I hope this gives you an idea of some of the Exceed resources available. Please take a look at the MSI, OIT, and Exceed websites for more details on the services available. Thanks for watching.